similar to the ones, uh, some that I have here. Um, and this uh, one story has been uh, mentioned a few times uh, already today, but uh, I was uh, presiding over the house earlier and I didn't get in on all of this. And I know there are some people watching now who probably didn't hear some of these things earlier, but the Washington Examiner had a headline that said, ICE releases 19,723 criminal aliens, 208 convicted of murder, 900 of sex crimes. And uh, before that, there was a story from the Washington Times, which uh, the headline said, 3,700 3, illegal immigrant threat level one criminals were released into the U.S. by the Department of Homeland Security. And that story said, most of the illegal immigrant uh, uh, criminals, Homeland Security officials released from custody last year were discretionary, meaning the department could have kept them in detention, but chose instead to let them onto the streets. Some of those released were the worst of the worst. More than 3,700 threat level one criminals who are deemed the top priority for deportation were still released out into the community. That uh, That's why people are so upset. That's why people are so angry about all of this. And then earlier we had a testimony in this committee from Jessica Vaughn from the Center for Immigration Studies. And she testified that ICE officials have told her that since the administration's policies on prosecutorial discretion were expanded, they are processing a small fraction of the number of aliens that they used, that they used to process. One recently told me that his office used to process as many as 100 aliens per day, but since the president's executive actions went into effect, now they are processing closer to five aliens per day with the same staff and budget. And it seems to me that this is a shameful record that uh, and, the, and the top, the people at the top should be embarrassed uh, about this. As Mr. Carter, Mr. Carter pointed out about uh, how the uh, uh, funds uh, have gone up so much and yet the, the, uh, the prosecutions have gone way down.